Grace. Grace is right here. Love you, Grace. Love you, Grace. Love you, Grace. Love Love you, Grace. 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 Love you, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. afternoon. Amen. <laughs> You deserve it. You deserve it. Take a seat. You are the guest of honor. Amen. Let the river of my worship flow to you. Lord, I Four times in the duties. Miss Adams will make a found. She's a peacemaker. They call her the peacemaker. <laughs> and with that said, I'm going to ask Miss Scott who will work with her much longer than I um, to take it from here. Okay. Yeah. She came to us. I guess you can see the lady in her age and so on. But she has her story. She's been one of my best employees. Okay, so I never had to go behind her. We never had to ask her to do anything twice. She learned to do things even with, without me asking her to do it. Whenever our standards change, she changed with it. She never fussed. The only thing she would say that she probably doesn't forgive me for is sending her to the doctor for a checkup. And so she would say from there, it's been downhill ever since. But she comes to work every day. She, even when she's not feeling well, I can look at her face, look at her eyes, I love her soul. They tell me a story. And I look at her eyes and say, you know, people know today. And she said, mm, you, you know. But she was just sticking there. And she's going to come the next day until she can't take it anymore. Or her family gets after her and says, all right, that's enough. And then she reluctantly goes. And the doctor says for her to stay home, she has a certificate. If she's able, she doesn't want you to know about it. Because she's determined to come work. Because I'm okay, okay, I can do it. We have little jokes and stuff. I'll come, maybe she came up with her, and she began to down to clean it on the side of the bed. And I would talk to her, and she would rise up. So I said, Grace, <laughs> and he's heard you, huh? She said, yes. <laughs> you know, so it's just little, little things like that. And I mean, she's been loved by any of the staff. I mean, Adam and Bob, Clark, and Alec, all of these people, Francine, who I would walk through these hallways, have a grace of the same. She's the same. And nobody has such a crossword about it, ever. You know, it's just been constant. And I can appreciate her for that. And she is like a role model to many of our staff. She really is. Because she's just constant, as I say. She goes on and on. And I know that she'd like to stay here on and on, but it's not our call, basically. But, you know, you never know. You never know. I wish around, and I'm telling her, and I tell all of you in front of everybody here, she had come in the room to spend time with all of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if Ms. Adams can't keep up, too bad. But guess what? She's going to find things to do. She makes some records of volunteer. She may find another job or something. I don't know her heart is here, and she can't be patient to come. She knows that's the reason we're here. That's what I found on, no matter what. If I kill somebody's cross on the patients, it's just a hot dearly to the patients like this. That's a real end for staff. Okay? So I really appreciate how she's cared for them. She's done little things for them, big things for them. She's loved them, cared for them, the smile on her face. Just that good morning, spending time with them, has made a wealth of difference to them. They really appreciate it because they're forgotten people at times. And the littlest things that you can do, small gestures, little tokens. And she has done it all. And she's going to be a great, a really big miss. Really big. Like I say, you can volunteer. You can really do it. You can go down. <laughs> okay? So, that's all I have to say.
Everybody lift your hands as we celebrate the greatness of our God. He's great and he's greatly to be praised. She's a dog of a bad look, but she's a dog of a bad look, but she's a dog of a bad look.